Hi there, I think we're live now. Let me refresh the page, just to be sure. Let's see. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so, uh, hi everyone. This is Lindsay with Swing Design, and um, I'm glad that I'm actually live now because I was talking for the last 10 minutes to a camera that wasn't on, so <laughs> let's try this again. I have a little um, dress rehearsal there, so. Uh, still getting used to this whole like social media live thing, but um, I hope you're having a great week and um, a great day so far. Hope you've had a chance to do something crafty and creative because that's what we're going to be doing today with the Cameo 4, my favorite machine. And I love making all, all the crafts. I just love everything crafty. But um, one thing that I find particularly fun with the Cameo 4 is being able to do faux leather crafts, like faux leather earrings. They're really popular and they're so cute. And I should have worn mine today, I totally forgot. Um, but that's what um, we'll be doing, is um, cutting some faux leather with the Cameo 4. And you can do this um, right with the um, materials that come in the box. Um, so you'll get the auto blade and your cutting your standard tap cutting mat and um, with those things you can um, uh, I'm get, getting the go ahead that I'm, I'm actually recording now so <laughs> that's, that's good uh, so yes auto blade and the uh, a brand new mat because those are um, really what um, is going to make this craft the most successful is if you've got a really sticky mat so like a brand new mat um, and you've got a new newish blade too and um, the auto blade for the cameo 4 um, is the blade you want to use for this so you don't need um, a specialty um, tool for it um, in fact I would recommend using the um, auto blade for this too um, and you know when you order your machine you get the standard tack mat and um, you want to make sure it's really sticky so if it's brand new um, that's the best time to do it or you can um, use a strong tack mat too which um, I like to use the strong tack mat um, just for that extra security um, for the different kinds of faux leather because there's a couple of different kinds um, you can get faux leather at um, the craft store and online uh, but there's like this thinner kind um, and you can feel, you know, it's like a thinner material, but then there's also um, this thicker kind too. And it's with this thicker material that I like to use the um, strong tack mat with. So that's what I'm going to be um, using today. But um, definitely the a brand new standard tack mat um, that's really sticky, that'll, that'll work as well. So, all right, so let's get this open up here. To start working with our faux leather and the design for these I have um, posted in the um, description so if you like the earrings that I'm making then you can um, grab the bundle for them too um, over at so fancy it's a um, really cute bundle of um, different kinds of um, Summer treats um, for faux earrings, so that's always really fun. And I'm going to start with um, the um, the thinner material. Um, actually, let's start with the thicker one. Let's start with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put that on the mat here. This is super sticky um, because this is the strong grit mat, which I really I really like to use. And then um, you're going to smooth it out really well. You can even use um, a brayer to, oh, ah, see, it will do a seat, um, to really smooth that out there. And then sometimes what I like to do is um, the backing or the material that comes um, on the mat, um, I will sometimes put that on the lower part. Because I know I'm only cutting up here, so I want to protect this other part. 
apart from getting um, any like dust or hair <laughs> or my hair on it. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and load this into the machine. So what you do here is um, the rollers are usually like this, and then um, this roller here. gray lock sign um, so it's going to stay locked until you press it and then you can bring this in so if you were cutting um, um, without a mat then you would need to bring in this um, locking lever here um, but since we're not then we can keep it um, pulled out the farthest and you'll feel it when you press the gray lock button um, when you press it and you slide it, you'll feel that it'll um, it, like snap into place. So I can feel that it's snapped in and then um, when you take your hand off the button, then it's locked. And then just remember to lower the bar back down and then clean any schmutz you have out of there. Um, and then this is the, so you just hold it in, the, hold the machine in or the mat in like this. And there's a little, uh, like line here with arrows and so you just line up your mat like that and you press the up button all right so now it's all loaded in and then i'm going to go onto my laptop on Zillow studio and cut out two of the earrings i actually only have one on there right now and i want two okay and one thing that I recommend is when you're cutting with um, like thicker materials, like save our projects to be as successful as possible. Sometimes with these thicker materials, excuse me, with these thicker materials, it actually helps to move the design um, so it's not right on the edge. Um, then there's just less. Um, you know, it's more likely that the material is going to stay stuck to the mat and you'll get a, a cleaner cut that way. So um, I actually had the design in Silhouette Studio placed like right up in the corner of the mat and I'm going to bring it out a little bit so that there's a little bit of um, a gap between the edge here and the top. And, and then there's also a gap between the two, um, between the two earrings themselves. And in the send panel, I've created, let's actually move this up there and there. Okay, so that's going to do its thing. You can hear the machine tapping. That's the auto lay. So sometimes the, um, oh, it's, it's, it's going well. Um, so sometimes you'll hear like this is a one tap um, auto blade technology and so what that means is it just means that the blade will tap once to reset and then it'll tap um, how many times or however um, many times you've set the blade to. So I've actually um, created a faux leather earring setting um, in my materials in uh, Silhouette Studio so that, uh, you know, I can just go and select that material type and then uh, it'll cut it. And so for this thicker one, right now I'm doing a blade of 10, a speed of 1, and a force of 25, and then two passes. And let's just check if it cut there. I like to do this before. If you check before um, you've unloaded the mat, then, um, you know, if this didn't cut all the way through, then um, you could send it through. As long as you haven't unloaded the mat, you can um, send it through again and it'll cut it out. But I'm um, just kind of peeling it back here. I can see that it cut. So I'm going to press this button here to unload it. And it looks like we maybe got a little bit of something there, but that's fine. But look at this one. 
cut it out like perfectly. So that's one of the uh, earrings. And then this one, for some reason, I don't know what has in there. I'm just gonna trim it like that. You know? Here we go. Just like that. Okay, so now one thing that I like to do with faux leather earrings um, is Oh, I'm gonna take this off and then put this back. You always want to put your covering back on the mat so you don't get any dust and it stays sticky for the longest amount of time. Right. And then what I like to do, this is just a little trick that I've done, is I um, a hole punch um, in the corner right here and then I can hang it up um, from a hook on, on my pegboard here. Um, and that works really well for me. Um, okay, so another thing um, that I like to do with faux leather earrings is that um, in the design, um, they'll come with um, a little hole at the top um, for obviously to put the, the jump rings through so you can put them on the, um, the fish hook mechanism. But um, I actually just like to take that out so in um, Silhouette Studio, I go to the design itself, I edit the, you know, comp, release the compound path and then delete that little circle um, because I like to um, manually do it myself. Um, but it comes, the design itself comes with a little hole in that. I just decided to take it out. Um, so um, next up, I'm gonna cut this one. This is a thinner one and of course I put my mat away but I'm gonna need it again. Um, and with these mats, you can load them from either side. So there's, um, um, you know, the arrow here and here. So even if you load it from this side, like the numbers are going to be upside down. But um, like silhouette up here is right side up and you can still load it this way too. Um, <clears throat> so, see, I've already got one of my hairs on it. Oh, long hair, don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here. And remember, you want to get it like pretty smooth. Um, you can use a brayer. I love using a brayer. I think it really helps. Um, it also helps too if um, whatever you're using is um, you know, sensitive to being touched so um, you don't want to get you know the oils on your fingers on it um, you can use a brayer just smooth it out and you don't even have to touch it then let's load it back in there and then since this is a thinner material I'm going to use the same blade depth um, but I'm going to lower the force a little bit Maybe to 22. And I'm just lining up these designs here. I'm gonna send that. And then it's going to tap and do its thing. So tap once to reset to zero. And then it taps 10 times to get to uh, And then I'm just checking that um, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, and she is. Um, so let me check if there's any um, comments or questions. Cameo 4 
and this is using the auto blade. So this is the blade that you get um, when you order the machine. And um, you know, to cut faux leather, you don't need um, any special blade tools like the rotary blade. In fact, for faux leather with faux leather earrings, it's it's best to just to use the um, either the auto blade or if you have a ratchet blade, the uh, one of these. Um, if you have these from like a you know previous machine where you got it in the craft store, um, to use the ratchet blade though in the machine, um, the Cameo Four comes with a set of adapters. And the black, these are the adapters. They open like this. Um, and so to use the ratchet blade, which I've used the ratchet blade with really great success um, with faux leather, um, you just have to manually uh, adjust the, uh, the blade depth. But then you'd put it in here and then there's a little fin that sticks out there. And so that would be stuck out. Oops. And then it lines up with the little groove getting in the groove, put that in there, and then there you go. And then to adjust the blade, you just put it in this here. Oh, it's already set to 10, but you just um, line it up here and then twist it, and you can kind of feel it moving, and then it would, um, you know, change the, black, the depth. Okay, so that is done. Um, oh, I should have tested it first. I didn't test it, um, but I'm feeling lucky today. Um, if you test it before you take it out of the machine, then you can run it back through. So I, could, I couldn't put this back in and line it back up to cut, but oh my gosh, we got a really perfect cut. This is so beautiful. And these are so, these are so cute. These are from the sweet, or no, summer treats earring bundle over at so fancy <laughs> these are so cute they're little cherries um and i don't know where did i put my uh the black ones that i just cut story of my life right crafting and then you put something down and then um oops put it on the upside down oh no i cut the wrong ones oops i i was playing with two different kinds of um earring styles to decide so I cut I got the wrong one but you can kind of see what um, what I'd want it to look like with the the black behind it um, so aren't those so cute I totally love the I mean and you could just do the earrings like this too I think that's really cute so adorable um, so let's peel this one off and then there's this even this little tiny bit here, there's this little tiny bit cut right in there. And look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so, so cute. And so again, what I like to do with uh, these is I actually like to take in Silhouette Studio, the computer, the free software, um, that you download to um, use with the machine um, is I like to actually take out the circle um, so I can punch it myself with a um, I think this is like a 1 16th hole punch and I just punch it in right there and there we go so then you just punch a little tiny hole and then all you need are uh, um, um, you can get these um, packs at like the craft store or online and they come with everything that you need these gem rings should you use gold or silver I think I think silver um, you use the jump rings um, and then um, it's really ha handy to have these um, bottle nose bottle nose tweezers they're not like really pointy on them, but you just open them up, you put the earring through, and then the earring mechanism here, 
And I've found that sometimes um, when I put the earring in, it won't face forward. So I've kind of been experimenting with trying like how to fix that. And I found that sometimes it helps if you change the way in which you put the earring on. So um, I know this is really small, so I hope it's you know somewhat comprehensible for you guys to see it. Um, so if I put it on with the hook facing to the left or to the right, sometimes I've found that if I just change the direction, so like if I put it on, you know, facing to the left, um, sometimes if I change it to the one facing, if I just change the orientation, it can change. It can help a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's the outfit. Oh, those are so cute. I love these. Oh, this would be really cute with um, like glitter. You can, you can put HTV on the leather. Um, glitter, which I love glitter HTV. So anyway, there you go. And of course, I would do the same thing to the other one. But then there you go. And you got this. There we go. There we go. So then you have your... Um, faux leather earrings cut with your Cameo 4 and the Auto Blade. So, uh, you are ready to get started, um, right out of the box with your, um, fun crafting adventures with the Cameo 4. So, um, well, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have planned for today. Um, I think I will go ahead and then recut that black piece because I think it would be really pretty to put a piece of, um, the the thicker faux leather behind me. Um, but that's it, that all, all they had. This is Lindsay for Swing Design. I have the uh, links for both the design um, itself um, over at So Fancy, but also for um, the Cameo 4 as well. And I linked to um, just the Cameo 4 page um, so you can take a look at the machine or all the different um, bundles that we have too. So, you know, there's different bundles that come with um, HTV and um, uh, adhesive vinyl so you know whatever um, suits your fancy so um, I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time bye <laughs>